There are many different components that the immune system deploys to fend off pathogens of foreign substances, the so-called antigens. A distinction is made between the innate immune system, which can react immediately, and the acquired immune system, which is only developed later in life. The main players are the various white blood cells, the loosened leukocytes. White blood cells form what is known as cellular mediated immunity and giant molecules floating in the blood form humoral immunity. These include antibodies, complement factors and a multitude of small messenger substances that swim in the blood. But where do these components actually come from and how do they learn their roles? Immune cells are formed in the bones. Organized or trained are these cells in the primary and the secondary lymphatic organs. Primary lymphatic organs are the bone marrow, where blood is also formed, and the thymus, which is important for the maturation of certain immune cells. Secondary lymphatic organs include the lymph nodes, which are interconnected by vessels, the spleen, and to some extent the bone marrow again. Other secondary lymphatic organs are all mucosa-associated tissues of the digestive tract, was the vermiform appendix and the respiratory tract lungs. The vast majority of cells floating in the blood are the red blood cells, the erythrocytes. For the immune system, only the various white blood cells are responsible. Both red and white blood cells are formed in the bone marrow where they develop from two basic cell lineages, the so-called myeloid and the lymphoid progenitor cells. The myeloid cell gives rise to red blood cells, platelets and a group of white blood cells. These phagocytes, various granulocytes and dendritic cells form the innate immune system. Without special training, phagocytes simply eat foreign invaders such as bacteria or viruses. They digest them and eventually excrete them. All these cells can react very quickly. They however forget what they have just done and do not form a memory. Most of these cells contain granules that help them digest the ingested particles. Substances inside these granules can also be expelled and they can call for assistance. Because of their reddish granules, eosinophil granulocytes are so named after the Greek goddess of dawn, Eos. They are responsible for the defense against worms and other parasites, but also for allergic reactions. If these cells detect a worm or similar hostile agent, they seek its proximity and shower it with their granules in order to render it harmless. Genuine specialists for this support mission are dendritic cells. With their long branch projections, they can not only capture and absorb the antigens, but also display them to other immune cells, which can then produce antibodies. Dendritic cells are thus best understood as mediators between the innate and the acquired immune system. The lymphoid cell lineage gives rise to various lymphocytes that form the acquired immune system. 
The most important among them are the B lymphocytes and the T lymphocytes. They undergo intensive training in the body, or mature through contact with foreign bodies, such as viruses or vaccinations. They develop a memory so they can react quickly in the event of the next contact with the same pathogen. The T lymphocytes go to school in the thymus. They migrate from the bone marrow via the bloodstream to the thymus. This is quite large in children, but in adults, the organ atrophies. After they have matured, the T lymphocytes can distinguish healthy endogenous cells from those that are already diseased or are capable of causing disease. B lymphocytes mature in the bone marrow and migrate via the bloodstream to secondary lymphatic organs. They produce specific antibodies after contact with a particular antigen. Different types of antibodies are produced, five-pronged, paired or simple types. The star-shaped five-pointed IgM antibodies are produced at the first contact for immunization and are no longer detectable after a few weeks. The paired IgA antibodies are found in secretions on the mucosa and provide protection from infection for about six months. The smallest IgG antibodies appear only after a certain delay, but then remain detectable in the blood for a long time. B lymphocytes develop a memory, whereby even after years of repeated contact with the virus, very large amounts of antibodies are produced in a very short time for our protection. <laughs> 